August 15, 2013. Guys, a couple of things I want to talk about on this video. First, let's update this storm coming out of the Caribbean. Now, it is down to a 50% chance as it was shredded uh, overnight with the high-level winds. But now, it's still a 50% chance of strengthening in the last few frames. Here, you can see it start to wrap around the center. And this is the area we talked about last night, the northeast quadrant coming through this opening and not having that landfall. And most of it is making it through there, just that one small tip of Cuba that it's dealing with. Now there's a low pressure in front of it spinning, and I'll show you a couple different images of that. I don't know if they're gonna combine, but there's a lot of dry air. This is it right here. And the white is the storm. Here's the dry air and low pressure area. So as they combine, it's going to be a battle. One's going to absorb the other. Either this one's going to become wet or it's going to take a lot of moisture out of the storm. Now also notice this wind pattern coming out of Georgia. I brought you here for a reason for this. It's important. So just notice how it's coming out of Georgia, up through South Carolina, and up the East Coast. And that's this is a 12-hour loop, but that pattern has stayed the same for the last few days. You see because we're going to go to Valdosta, Georgia, where they've had a chemical plant explosion there yesterday. And I was, I'm slightly concerned that they're not telling everything about it. A very few reports mention everything the plant had, but it was uh, they are saying there were flames in the air up to 1,000 feet, excuse me, 100 feet, and over they estimate over 1,000 a, a 55-gallon drums of chemicals blew. Now, the newspapers there are mentioning some of the chemicals there, but the main one, they, they're not doing it. I saw nothing in some of the other mainstream about the incident at all. But uh, again, it was uh, smoking. It, was, it burned all afternoon. They said it sounded like a bomb run, those drums one after the other going off. But I went to the website of the company. It's called Permafix Environmental Services. And one of the things they do, and they're saying, guys, they do not know what was in the, the thousand barrels that blew because they, have, they handle different products and they handle waste. Here's one of the things they do. It's called nuclear services. They're not going to talk about it in the paper, so pay attention if you've got friends in that area and remember where that wind was going. It says Permafix is comprehensive environmental Remediation and decontamination and decommissioning services include full service capabilities, including a team of project managers and key personnel to lead projects to completion. In addition, Permafix offers expertise in the complete range of project support functions such as quality, safety, and health and radiological protection. Now, they handle, says, um, Permafix is familiar with environmental regulations and the regulations governing waste transportation and disposal. We have remediated and disposed of hazardous mixed and radioactive waste and, what did I say, radioactive waste and materials including asbestos, PCBs, mold, acid, lead-based paint, mercury, beryllium, lead, silver, and other heavy metals volatile and semi-volatile organics, alpha, beta, and gamma emitting radioisotopes, petroleum oils, and lubricants, and hazardous gases. They don't know what was in each of the thousand barrels. It's, it's such a, the scene is gonna be hard to determine until they get in there and everything cools off. So, and they've had today to do that. But again, they're not sure, so remember that wind pattern, okay? That's going to be important. Let this play through and look at a couple of the images. Now, I'm going to put a link to the, the articles about the Valdesta plant exploding. Again, I'm not saying there's radiation. I'm just saying they handle what I read you and other chemicals besides that, things to make plastic out of. Now, this uh, is the... Tropical Storm Aaron off the African coast. Take a look at it. It has maintained about the same speed of 40 mile an hour winds today. I think it's moving at about 15 knots. Now, this is the capital of Valdosta. 
and I'll show you how close it is. Uh, in, in the United States, we're right on the Florida line there, Georgia-Florida line. There. I'll back it out. Now, remember that prevailing wind pattern came this way and up that east coast. The last three days or four days, it's been pretty much the same. So we know yesterday where that chemical cloud went. You, and guys, they're not playing with that radiation. You may want to get checked out. Anybody in that area, you may want to have your kids checked out. One other thing, let's go across the, around the earth here a minute. Go to um, Cairo, Egypt. We've seen, and I'll put a link to some of the articles there, but the violence has been tremendous. Uh, they've got um, hundreds dead, thousands wounded because the Muslim Brotherhood that supported um, the ousted President Morsi, they've refused to give in. They were warned to clear the camps. They started clearing them yesterday with tanks and bulldozers, and there's been fighting and I'm talking police getting killed on both sides. Then they put a curfew. But now what's happened is these uh, Morsi supporters of Muslim Brotherhood have went in today and started burning government buildings, Molotov cocktails, gunmen, things like that. So it's biblical that this iron hand is going to come down on Egypt. So we're looking at a biblical time. I'll put a link to that verse also in this video. Now, we, we know the embassies have been shifted around the, the entire or this entire part of the globe some have reopened not many but I do know that today they put a warning out in Egypt and they had closed already closed the embassy there but they put a travel warning out for US citizens and to not only to not go there yet but to leave also speaking of possible red flags with all the situation that we're dealing with on September 11th this year 911 there's going to, they have the Muslim million man march in Washington, D.C. Now, what the reactions to that will be, we don't know. It smells like trouble. We're in biblical times. Heads up.